The SNP Finances Inquiry has resulted in the arrest of Nicola Sturgeon. In regards to the ongoing investigation concerning the SNP's finances and funding, Nicola Sturgeon, the former First Minister, has been arrested. As per the police, a female suspect of 52 years has been apprehended and is currently being interrogated by detectives. In April, the former CEO of the SNP, Peter Murrell, was arrested and later released. Following this event, his wife's story unfolds. On Sunday, Miss Sturgeon attended a police interview by arrangement as confirmed by her spokeswoman. Following his resignation in March, the previous leader of the SNP was arrested and interrogated by authorities who have been conducting a two-year-long investigation into the whereabouts of over £600,000 in donations provided to the party by supporters of Scottish independence. As per the spokeswoman, Nicola Sturgeon was interviewed and taken into custody on Sunday, June 11th, in connection with Operation Branch Form, with the prior knowledge and arrangement of Police Scotland. Throughout the investigation, Nicola has maintained her willingness to cooperate if required and is still doing the same. Enough is enough, according to Angus McNeil, an SNP MP who has joined opposition parties in advocating for the suspension of Miss Sturgeon from the party, citing the belief that this soap opera has dragged on for too long. On the 5th of April, the Scottish National Party's headquarters in Edinburgh and Miss Sturgeon's residence were searched by the officers. Mr Morell was detained during the search but was later released without any charges as the investigation is still underway. Police authorities seized a luxury motorhome worth around £110,000 from outside the residence of Mr Murrell's mother in Dunfermline. Following nearly a fortnight, Colin Beatty, the SNP treasurer, was taken into custody for questioning, though was later released without charge as authorities continued their investigations. Following his resignation as party treasurer, Mr Beatty stepped down from his position shortly thereafter. The SNP's accounts were signed by three individuals, namely Ms Sturgeon, Mr Murrell and Mr Beatty, and the former First Minister's arrest had been anticipated, although it was unclear when it would occur. As per the Criminal Justice, Scotland Act 2016, while police have the authority to release a suspect for additional investigation, they also retain the right to re-arrest them at a later time. The SNP spokesperson declined to comment on the arrest of Miss Sturgeon and cited that it is a subject of a police investigation. Following the independence referendum in 2014, Alex Salmond was succeeded by Ms Sturgeon who went on to serve as Scotland's first minister for over eight years. On February 15th, she declared that she will step down as the SNP leader and first minister after the election of her successor and Humza Youssef emerged as the winner of the contest. When she announced her departure, Ms Sturgeon stated that she was certain in both my mind and heart that it was the appropriate time to resign and she has refuted any suggestion that the police investigation had any influence on the timing of her decision. The position of Scotland's longest serving First Minister has only been held by one woman, who managed to make history during her time in office. Craig Hoy, chairman of the Scottish Conservative Party, has urged Humza Youssef, the current SNP leader, to suspend his predecessor from the party, citing the SNP's chaotic and murky state. Angus McNeil, the SNP MP for Na H. Eileenan and IAR, took to Twitter to demand the suspension of Miss Sturgeon, arguing that her situation has been drawn out like a soap opera and that she has suspended other SNP members for much less. We should maintain political distance until the investigation concludes, regardless of the outcome. The recent events have been deemed deeply concerning by Ian Murray, Labour's Shadow Scottish Secretary. He believes that the police inquiry should be allowed to proceed without any interference. Two years ago, Police Scotland initiated their Operation Branch Form investigation in response to complaints regarding the whereabouts of £666,954 that had been donated to the SNP by activists for a future independence referendum campaign. According to the party's latest records, it had approximately £97,000 in its bank account and net assets, totalling roughly £272,000 at the conclusion of 2019. In the previous year, 
it was revealed that Mr. Murrell provided the SNP with a loan exceeding £100,000 to assist them in addressing a cash flow problem following the last election. By October of that year, approximately 50% of the loan given to the SNP had been paid back. However, the party still has an outstanding debt to Mr. Murrell, the exact amount of which has not been disclosed. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.